Hello, and thank you for being here today and taking the time to attend this seminar focused on Octavo Systems System and Package Technology and how it can help you get to market faster with ST's MP1 processor. We are pleased to be an authorized partner to ST Microelectronics and we will be showing you how to implement a design around our OSD32 MP1, which is a complete MP1 system inside a small BGA package. When we talk about embedded systems, there are three fundamental things every engineer wants. To be able to do more with less time, build complex but compact systems that are reliable and easy to use, deliver impressive products under a budget. These are fundamental across any application and any industry, especially when electronic devices are getting feature rich and more complex by the day. The solution to these fundamental questions lies in system and package technology. Before I dive into the specifics about system and package, I wanted to take a step back and talk to you about Octavo Systems and who we are. Octavo Systems is a system integration company. We provide system level integration with expertise in system and package technology. Our goal is to improve the capability and value of your products through our integration. Basically, we integrate heterogeneous electronic components and make it simpler for you to use. So you can either take advantage of a technology that you wouldn't have been able to normally or just remove a chunk of development from your path and allow you to have more time to spend adding new features and new functionality that will help differentiate your product in the market. We were founded by three senior technology leaders from Texas Instruments. Bill High ran a number of businesses at TI. Jean Franz started and built the DSP business for TI and became principal technology fellow for Texas Instruments. And Masood Murtuza is known globally as an IC packaging expert and an innovator. They got together back in 2013 and started working on the idea to bring system and package technology to any embedded design. This was the genesis of Octavo Systems and starting with Texas Instruments AN335X, we released our first product in 2016. Since then, we have had broad adoption in market and have begun expanding our product portfolio to include other processor families that can benefit from system and package technology. Today, we will be talking about our latest SIP offering built around the ST Microelectronics MP1 family of processors. Just a little bit about me so you know who's speaking with you today. After completing my master's in electrical and computer engineering from Rice University, I joined Octavo in 2015 in the applications engineering team. Today, I lead our customer support team and I'm responsible for our software strategy and development. I have expertise in Linux development and assist our team and customers with everything from design, review, and any support required for integrating our SIP into your design. So earlier, I said system and package can solve the most pressing challenges of electronic design in our generation. So what is a system and package? Let's discuss. System and Package uses a set of advanced semiconductor manufacturing technologies to integrate at silicon level. We start off with the wafer that we get from silicon manufacturers like ST. We saw that up into each individual die and then we put those down onto a substrate using IC manufacturing techniques like wire bond, flip chip or something similar. We take those die and pair them up with other components like RAM, non-volatile memory, resistors, capacitors, oscillators, and other discrete components. We put all these heterogeneous components onto a substrate. The substrate is basically a very small PCB. It's made out of the same FR4 material, but with geometries that are very, very small. Then we mold it to encapsulate 
put balls on it, singulate it, and mark it. At the end, we have a single device that looks like a standard IC component, but inside of that standard IC component is an entire system. You can see the guts of what's inside one of our products here. It's got your processor, your power management, your memory, and all the passive components that go along with it and make it a system. That's why we say it's a component by construction and a system by design. Because we're using the IC manufacturing processes to integrate, providing you with a system building block that can be the foundation of your product. A great example of a SIP and our newest product is the OST32 MP15X, which is based on STM32 MP15X family of processors. In it, we integrate the SOC, a PMIC, DDR, EEPROM, and passives. All in all, over 120 components integrated into a single 18 mm by 18 mm PGA package. At the center of the SIP is, of course, the STM32 MP1 SOC, which comes with up to two Cortex A7 cores that can run up to 800 MHz and an M4 core that can run at 200 MHz. There are a number of applications of the MP1 processor. For example, with the dual core A7s, it can decode HD video. And with the 3D graphics core enabled, the customer can implement a high performance user interface. The heterogeneous architecture with both Cortex A and Cortex M cores provides the flexibility needed for various applications, including audio and real time processing. It is also possible to build AI into your product with the MP1. Using the Cortex A subsystem, there is support for TensorFlow Lite. The AI package contains AI and computer vision frameworks and application examples. For Cortex-M real-time subsystem, there is support for STM32Cube.ai, which can target the Cortex-M4 in STM32MP1. Cube.ai allows you to map and run pre-trained artificial neural networks in the real-time domain of the MP1. Let's take a closer look at the integration of the OST32 MP1. As you can see, it integrates the STM32 MP1 processor, the STPMIC1A PMIC, up to one gigabyte of DDR3L memory, a four kilobyte EEPROM, the main oscillator, and the passives. All of this integration coupled with the benefits that come with the system and package are available to you without having to make any compromises on the performance of the MP1. You can see some of the features of the SOC listed in the block diagram. In addition to the cores, connectivity options are vast, including CAN, MIPI DSI, a 24-bit RGB display, as well as a camera interface. For real-time motor control, it provides independent PWM pins and timers. There's an ADC and a DAC. The device also supports several security features. With the system and package, you still get access to all the I.O. and all the peripherals available on the MP1. Plus, you get the PMIC and all of its functionality integrated with the DDR, the EEPROM, oscillators, and all the passives in a BGA package about the same size as versions of the MP1 standalone. So how do we quantify the benefits of the system and package? Let's start off with time. How is the system and package going to help you get more time? When you look at a normal microprocessor based embedded Linux system, it looks a little bit like this. If you were looking to implement a discrete MP1 based system yourself, this is a simplified block diagram schematic of what that would look like. 
with all these components that need to be designed, connected, placed in layout, routed, and then at the end of the day, they need to be validated as well. All of this takes time. So you do all the work, you build the board, then some things might not work as you want it. And then you have to go back and do another spin. And all of that takes time as well. Using the MP1 system and package though, your system goes from looking like this to something like this. And yes, it really is this dramatic because we integrate all of those components inside of a single device. Now, all you need to do is put this one device down and eliminate placing close to 140 components, 74 nets, all the connections dealing with the power domains, all the complexity that goes along with the DDR. All of that gets eliminated for you and you just put this one component down and you know it works. You can move on to start developing your system, allowing you to cut up to nine months of your design time. In addition to the simplification of the actual design, we also significantly simplified the layout process through the design of our ball map on our system and package. So you will have a 302 ball BGA with one millimeter pitch with access to all the I.O. that you would get on the MP1. We have arranged these I.O. in an intelligent manner that allows you to access all the I.O. on the outer three layers with your power and ground pins all in the center. Now what that does is it actually allows you to escape all the I.O. in a single layer using low cost PCB design rules. So what you see here is an escape with an example which uses five mil trace width and spacing. Very low cost VS, nothing exotic like blind or buried VS. Basically, very low cost design rules allowing you to escape the entire SIP in a single layer. Now let's quantify how much space system and package saves. The OSD32 MP1 basically integrates an entire MP1 system into a single BGA component. As you can see here on the left is a picture of all the discrete components on ST's DK2 board that get integrated into our system and package. This is up to 64% reduction in size, depending on the package of the MP1 that you're using. So it's basically an entire MP1 system in the size of either a dime or a two cent euro. This basically allows you now to put this kind of system and power into spaces and form factors that you wouldn't be able to without system and package. This also allows you to reduce the cost of your PCB. You can make your PCB smaller, reducing the costs there as well. So that actually leads us into how does the SIP help me lower my costs? Let's take a step back and walk through all the factors here. We talked about engineering time savings. So if you're saving about nine months of design time, that's a significant saving in engineering cost. Also, because of the integration and the known working nature of the system and package, you are going to have a higher chance of first pass design success, reducing multiple spins of a design. Each spin costs you both time and money. Then there's the PCB cost. We talked about the one millimeter pitch spacing of the BGA, allowing you to use really the lowest cost design rules available. So significantly reducing the cost of your PCB. There's also a reduction in the layer count of the PCB. We really didn't touch on this earlier, but when you're using a DDR, you're typically going to need at least six layers of PCB. However, if you look at all of our reference designs, there are actually four layers 
because the integration and the routing of some of these high-speed signals is done inside of our system in package. Therefore, it's something that you don't have to worry about. This allows you to reduce the number of layers. You're reducing the number of layers using low cost design rules. And then because of the size reduction that the system and package provided, you can also reduce the area of the PCBs. Once you add all of these factors together, you get a significantly lower cost PCB. The third point, assembly, is one that doesn't necessarily come to our minds right away. But if you think about it, the system and package is replacing over 100 components. So this would be 100 fewer components that need to be set up and placed in the pick and place machines. And all of that is basically time and setup cost that your assembly house is going to charge you to do. So reducing the amount of components that they need to manage and set up in their system and the time that it takes the pick and place machine to process your board all adds up to savings for you on each individual board as you go through the manufacturing process. Supply chain management is also a really big factor with system and package and something that a lot of our customers really like is the simplification of the supply chain. With over 100 components being reduced to one, anything that we integrate in our system and package is one less thing for you to worry about with purchasing and inventory management. It's just taken care of for you. Then the final point here that we actually get asked about all the time is the end of life. At Octavo, we are committed to supporting our products as long as possible. Our business has been built around supporting industrial customers that have 10 year plus life cycles. So we have really thought about how we are going to handle end of life for individual components at the very beginning of our design. And we have processes in place to help alleviate that. So that means that Octavo is taking care of the responsibility for dealing with things like die shrinks or end of life of DDRs, etc. The SIP you're going to buy just works and continues to meet the same spec. So all the qualification that goes with the end of lifing of components or changing components or die shrinks, Octavo takes care of for you and you have one less thing to worry about. Once you add all these savings over the lifetime of a product, you really can see significant reduction in total cost of ownership compared to some of the other methods that you can choose to implement for your design. Another bonus benefit that you get from system and package is the increase in reliability. So if reliability is something that's important for you, system and package really is the best approach. What you see here is a comparison between a discrete implementation and the system and package implementation of the same system. And on the right, we compare some of the most common failure modes. You can see that relatively system and package is as good ranging to significantly better on each one of these failure modes than the equivalent system from discrete components. So as you have seen, all these are quantifiable benefits of system and package that we want as system designers. Just to recap and reiterate these benefits, using system and package is going to get you to market faster. It's going to give you more time to add more features and more value to your product. It's going to allow you to design the smallest possible form factor for an MP1 based product. It's going to significantly simplify your design. It's going to create a more reliable system. It's going to simplify your supply chain and give you lower total system cost throughout the life of the product. In other words, System and Package brings a transformational change to electronic system design and product design. So now you're thinking, all right, Niraj, all that sounds fantastic, but how do I get started and what support will I have? 
Well, the good news is that Octavo Systems, we don't just provide a device, we provide solutions. We have the support and systems in place to help you through each stage of your design cycle. That's where my applications team really comes into play. The first thing we offer is freely available information, meaning you don't have to sign any NDAs. There's no firewalls in place to stop you from getting what you need. We give you complete data sheets, detailed application notes, open source reference designs in both Altium and Eagle. Our marketing team even provides some basic pricing guidance. We make all of this information available to you so you can easily begin your own analysis to see if OSD32 MP1 really fits your application and fits your needs. The best way to get started is to get one of our development boards. The first one we have here is the OSD32 MP1 BRK. We call this the Flexible Prototyping Platform. It is a small, low-cost platform the size of a business card. This board shows how easy it is to design with the OSD32 MP1 and what little hardware is needed to go from the SIP to a board booting Linux and working peripherals. It is a four-layer board with all the components on a single side, yet it can provide access to almost all the pins of the MP1. Like all of our development boards, this is an open source design. So all the schematics and layout files are available on the web. It is available for purchase through our distributors with the low suggested resale price of $50. So a great way to get started with the OST32 MP1. Come by the booth for a demo of the board. We are also working on a more full-featured development platform. It's called the RED platform for reference, evaluation, and development. It basically adds on all of those extra features and peripherals that you might want to help you prototype and try things out. It has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Gigabit Ethernet, USB, USB-C, HDMI, DSI, as well as a number of headers for you to add expansion cards, both Raspberry Pi and Microelectronica Click, as well as some motor control headers. It is a four layer design as well, with the schematics and layout being available today on our website for you to check out and utilize as reference design. The Redboard itself will be available for purchase in the first quarter of 2021. Obviously, boards are great for prototyping and as reference designs, but hardware itself isn't the only thing you need to get your design moving. Octavo devices are fully compatible with all software tools, both provided by ST as well as third parties built around the MP1. This includes the OpenST Linux distribution and the STM32 Cube development environment provided by ST as well as open source projects like Yocto, which can be used to build your own custom Linux distributions. So it is easy to get all the advantages of system and package without learning any new software tools, if you're already familiar with the MP1 development environment. In addition to support for existing software tools and environments, Octavo Systems offers a Debian Linux distribution and SDK. Debian Linux, with its many easily installable packages, has been used on many platforms to help get prototypes up and running quickly without having to learn Yocto or other Linux build environments. This can allow you to easily prototype with the OST32 MP1 and test out the different features you need for your application. Taking a deeper look at the Debian Linux distribution, it is built on the OpenST Linux distribution and is easy to cross-compile on an Ubuntu host. 
Support for segmented compilation means that you don't have to build the entire image when you need to update a small piece of your Linux distribution. Additionally, the pre-built packages for Debian means that you probably won't need to compile anything at all in order to get your prototype up and running. The Debian Linux distribution is compatible with existing software development environments from SD and all of our offerings are open source from the source code to build environments, making it easy to customize and modify. Now I want to show just a quick example of how easy it is to use OpenST Linux distribution with the OST32 MP1. This workflow shows the steps we used to integrate the OST32 MP1 BRK into OpenST Linux distribution. On our GitHub, we provide a set of patches for TFA, U-Boot, and Linux kernel. Once you download these patches, you can apply them to each component after they are downloaded. Once the patched components are built, then you just need to copy these binaries into the starter package. That's all there is to it. Now to drive that point home, I want to show you a video of a demo that was done by one of our partners. The demo was originally done on the STMP1 DK2 platform. We then created a replica of that platform with our system and package on it. We took the code, dropped it onto our device, and it just ran. What that shows is that you can begin development on the DK2 or any other ST tool, then get advantage and benefits of the system and package when you get into the actual design because the software and tools are 100% compatible. So here I am walking through an MP voice demo showing off Alexa capabilities. This is the MP voice demo from Sienna Systems running on the OST32 MP1 version of the Discovery Kit 2. It shows voice assistants such as Google and Alexa running on a platform that can be integrated into smart home or control applications. It uses the voice shield which features a microphone array to sample voice inputs and communicates to the Alexa or Google voice services through the onboard Wi-Fi. Alexa, what's the weather? Currently, in Sugar Land, it's 72 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today, you can expect partly sunny weather, with a high of 73 degrees and a low of 43 degrees. It also has a touchscreen display on the DSi interface that is showcasing a feature-rich HMI application. This demo demonstrates the capabilities of the OST32 MP1 to integrate existing frameworks to develop smart applications. The key point here is that the demo was completely developed and designed on an STDK2 development board using discrete components and was seamlessly able to migrate over to the system in package MP1 and run and perform the exact same way. Then to continue to help you through your design, we do have a very active community on our forums. You can go there and read everything that you want to see if some of your questions have been answered and the forum gets you in touch directly with our applications engineering team. We also have local technical resources and local sales resources all over the world to help support you and answer your questions. We also offer a design review service because, you know, sometimes it's just nice to have a second set of eyes look over your design, making sure you're not really missing anything. Stop by the booth and talk to us about our support and services. We can get you in touch with a local resource. We also have an extensive network of partners that can provide you with hardware and software expertise. They're all over the world and they all have experience with the MP1 system. We are extremely excited to have these companies available to help our customers realize their goals, and we continue to add to this list all the time.
Once you've completed your design, you want to be able to easily get parts to build it. So we make that as easy as possible by working with some of the largest electronic distributors in the world to make sure all of our components are available to our customers and are easy to access. Then finally, I wanted to give you an overview of the different variants of the MP1 SIP that we offer. Our main product today is built on the MP157C device with the STPMIC1A, 512MB of DDR, oscillator, and an EEPROM in an 18 by 18 millimeter package. As you see today, every product variant is with the 512 megabytes of memory. We will be releasing the one gigabyte option in early 2021. We offer both commercial and industrial temperature ranges, and we can provide any other processor option in the MP1 family. While there may be an MOQ associated with that, please reach out to us and let us know what you're looking for, and we'll see how we can help you. Thank you for your time. The team at Octavo Systems and I are looking forward to chatting with you in our booth this week. For more information, please visit us at octavosystems.com.